using the pictures that we've had in our lesson so far, if we have these original pictures and we build a some kind of a Venn diagram, and I have a big circle here, and I put another circle right here, and this one will be the prokaryotes, and this will be the eukaryotes, You should know right now that both of them have a DNA. Now, the eukaryotics have a nucleus, which the prokaryotes do not. They have no nucleus. You should know that these um, are both living organisms. An example that you would find for the eukaryote would be an animal or a plant. An example of a prokaryote would have been a bacteria. And these are single celled organisms. While the eukaryote can be both multicellular or single celled organisms. We have DNA is in both, but the nucleus is going to hold the DNA. So where I'm going to put the DNA inside the nucleus. The DNA just floats free, freely over here on this one. And the trick that we gave you at the very beginning was pro no no nucleus and we told you you spelled EU was you betcha Betcha isn't a real word, we just have fun with that one. You betcha, you have a nucleus. Because you, humans over here, we probably should put that for animals too, so we'll put animal and humans, because you are an animal. And humans are eukaryotes. So prokaryotes, pro no. No nucleus, says so there's no nucleus. Example V bacteria, they are single celled organisms. They do have DNA and they are living organisms. A eukaryote has a nucleus with a DNA inside it. Examples are planimals, which, I mean, <laughs> planimals, <laughs> that was a new word. How about animals, which can be humans as well, and plants. And that is a multicellular or a single celled organism. And when you say, you betcha, you have a nucleus. So you are ready for your retest and show me how smart you are.